have a look, see what spares we got here. Lots of sprockets and everything, but the wrong ones. God, look at them, brand new CDP. Still looks crap, doesn't it? Need a grinder in there. You love it, don't you, Del? Oh, God, is ya? Down here. Well, it was. Here you go, CDP sprockets. Just to annoy all the anoraks. Do you like that, Del? Yeah. Humanoid forklift on there. Go on, Del. Give it a push. There you go, CDP sprocket fitted, first one. Compared to the old Sherman sprocket, or Grant sprocket, as this would have been. Same track though. Right, this is normal Sherman track, but the, uh, well, this is combat track metal, um, which is what that Grant would probably have on it. Maybe not the metal, it'd probably have a rubber pad instead. But this is what they call live track. Each one of these pins, there's rubber bushes inside each one of these pins. And because it's so old, this stuff, you uh, you start using it and the rubber starts coming, well, turns into powder, starts coming out of there. And then you get loads of slack in the track. Well, a new set of track for this with a rubber pad instead of the metal would cost you 30 grand, which is why we use CDP. Uh, Canadian dry pin that's called and that's normally used, only used on grizzlies and sextons but well, I'll show you a bit of uh, CDP right, this is CDP Canadian dry pin track this is what we're going to use because it is at the end of the day I think a better track because all it is is a metal pin it runs through, connects each of the tracks up, out the track pads, and just weld a washer on the end there. You're done, no rubber to wear out, it's metal on metal. But it's not meant to be on it. Not only that, not only that, that's uh, the difference is this is about three or four grand a set compared to 30 grand a set for the Sherman stuff. So. tracks we want, a bit of CDP.
first job, take that sprocket off. That bit there you want to fucking eat up, that? Yeah. I'm from the bottom at the moment. Yeah. Roots growing inside, I look. All of all that at the bottom there. It's already dropped out. Baldy. Do you want to bag the other side, though? No. Going. <laughs> so the battery gone. <laughs> okay, you can stop now. Keep heating, quenching, heating, quenching. Eventually, she'll it come will loose. CDP sprockets, both sides now. This wheel station's a bit shagged. All the springs are busted up. Notice that it's uh, someone tried to cut out the the uh, front drive by the looks of it and gave up. Yeah, still trying to work out what we're going to do with this one. I think it's probably going to have to be replaced. But we'll have to use it just to take it to cable. We haven't got time to fit it. Still fighting this um, rear idler, but it is starting to move. Down a bit. Down. Down a bit more. Okay, go in a bit. Keep going. Oh, down a bit. Uh, too far. Go up a little bit more. Try going in. 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 That's it, we're in.
you're filming. and girls is how you get it off just like that isn't it mick just like that mate. well that one's better than uh that beating old turd Gas axe mark there. Well, someone tried to take the transmission off at some point and given up. We've pushed this wheel down so that we can uh, try and keep the track up, otherwise, it's all going to be wrapping around the sprocket before it gets around to the bogey wheels. Our own made bodge job for the dodgy wheel station that will be replaced in the future. People appreciate the amount of bodging we've had to do to this thing just to get some tracks on it. We should have enough to do both sides, but it's putting all the best bits together. somewhere we've got a bit overexcited on the amount of tractor put on we've got to take some off now <laughs> Oh, 
looks like a good one straight away, doesn't it? No, it's, a, it's got a crap one. Yeah, it's got a broken bit it's got on the end. Cut in that end. Yeah, that's, that's all right. it done. As long as that pin moves. Well, it all seems free, Mick. Well, you can't tell until you feet. Dell. Set the tracks on our first time in a few years. What do you think, Dell? Fucking fuck up. <laughs> We're the boys, aren't we? Turns up tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. That was a hard two weeks getting everything freed up and moving and bodging. But it's done now. I'll see you all at Cape Hall. Cheers, mate. I'm seeing 